Hey guys, welcome to the Mountain Bear Show. Bear talk number 21. Two in one day. How you doing? <laughs> Let me turn this down. That's right. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. <laughs> Love this. Um, every now and then. Let me hold on. Anyhow, every now and then I'll get in a mood, in a mood, and I'll listen to music that puts me to like when I was like, I don't know, in my mid 20s, when I was going to a straight bar in West Virginia. I was hanging out with my niece. She's my oldest niece, and uh, we were going out to the Clover Club, and uh, I always I knew I was gay, but I would go over there because she had a gay friend. Not my type, but I would go over there and I would like flirt around with him to make him feel a little uncomfortable. Nobody ever would fuck with us, but I would always like dance up on him and like smack his ass and shit. And this was like one of the songs that you know would they would play. So they kind of played like to me this was house music, and this is like the type of music I like to dance to. So in West Virginia, to believe it or not, believe it or not, they didn't play like. The redneck hillbilly music, unless you went to a place uh, called the Allegheny Club. Now, this is on my side or closer to my side of the county. And uh, anyhow, the Clover Club was an awesome club. Um, so, uh, yeah, so that's where I got my kicks at. Um, anyhow, some some people wanted some, you know, to me to do like another video. And I was like, okay, so they was running out some ideas and things for me to talk about. And I said, sure, I'll do it. But anyhow, there's a point in this song, it gets into this, and I want everybody to really listen to it if they can hear it. If not, go to my uh, Facebook page, because it's there, or go to YouTube and do a search for this. Salt and Pepper, Body Beautiful. And basically at the end of it, it talks about everybody's beautiful in their own way. Everybody. You know, it comes from the outside, from the inside out, you know. So, that's just, it's awesome. To me, it's a powerful song. So, but anyhow, we're going to talk about a couple of things. So, let me turn this off, because it's almost over anyhow. And we'll have no music. How about that? It'll just be me and you. But it's just really just me, right? <laughs> hmm. Um. Last night, I was on Bear 411. Some little dude from California sent me a message. Um. I don't take anything personal on Bear 411. Never have, never will. And then somebody sent me a message. Handsome, nice looking, whatever. I say thank you. Leave it at that. And he started, you know, not I can't say hitting on me because I I didn't take it at that, but he, he it was basically a sad little story that he basically had to change his whole life around for his I was I was guessing it was a boyfriend, a partner or something, and then the boyfriend dumped him because he got too big. And now he feels really bad about himself. And I told him, I said, you know, to me you have to love yourself. Before you can love someone else. You know, don't let somebody else put you in a situation like this. It's only you that can make it any better. Another person cannot make it any better. Um, and I, I felt sorry for him. And I didn't know what else to say. And it just put me in a very bad situation. Because um, I really hate deep conversations. I think most of y'all know this. I can go there. But I don't like to go there. Um... I think that brings out another side in me that I don't want people to actually see. <laughs> How you doing? But I, I kind of, you know, talked to him and I kind of gave my two cents. And uh, anyhow, um, I think it worked. Um, you know, and he kind of agreed. You know, he kind of agreed to it. And, and I'm like, don't ever change yourself for someone else. You know, if if you a fat bastard, you a fat bastard. He's going to love you for every pound you are. You know, um, to me. 
I'm big because I want to be big. If I want to lose weight, it's because I want to lose weight. Ain't nobody going to tell me what I'm going to do and what I'm not going to do in that sense. That's up to me. That's up to me. Um, you know, I've did videos about it. You 400 pounds, don't worry about getting your dick sucked or fucking ass or getting your ass fucked. Worry about losing some weight before you have sex because you're going to have a heart attack. <laughs> Leave it at that, you know. So I made videos talking about this shit. So anyhow, <laughs> anyhow, he kind of kind of agreed he said you know you're, you're right you're right he says you know i don't need other people's approval i need my own absolutely right so anyhow i think i did good right i did good hey i'm helping the world one person at a time and somebody says let's talk about ufos uh, do we have to uh, do, do i have an opinion uh, i was at my uncle bob's last night and we was watching this thing about the masons um, the Masons actually, basically, I don't give a shit when it started, but it was, over here, it was like George Washington, and, uh, oh, fuck, um, Benjamin Franklin, and Thomas Jefferson, and the big G now, in, in the Mason sign, is for George Washington, and if you go to, like, the Capitol building, and, and you go up, and you look at that big thing, the dome, and you see, like, a, the, 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 the painting up and you see like George Washington sitting up there like he's a, an angel. Go look because it's up there. And then you see like a Jacob's Ladder. And you know what the Jacob's Ladder was. It had like the angels descending from heaven or going up to heaven. Either or. I They don't even know what it is. There's no angels descending on this ladder. And there's like a glow. And it's like a circle. And they don't, you know, they're saying, oh, this is a UFO. Well, you know what? I Come on, we can't be the only people in the universe. That's just my opinion. Hate me. I'm not, I have not seen it. If it's here, it's here. But I don't believe we are. Just my belief. Hmm. So, but if there is other intelligence, hey, how you doing? You know, come on, come on. It's a big place. Big, big place. Big, big, big place. And of course, you know, this is where we come into people not being educated. <laughs> so I really don't want to talk about this. Um, so the people that would like for me to talk about UFOs, do I really have to? Because I really don't want to. But also on this other program, because they was talking about, there was a question that came out a few years back, uh, Cowboys and Aliens. There's actually a place in Texas where there was a spaceship that's supposed to have crashed. And actually, we actually walked out while this program was playing at Uncle Bob's last night. And um, there was actually a gravesite where our aliens supposed to be buried. And this was before Roswell. So, um, anyhow, that's just a little bit of tidbit information there. Do I believe in aliens? Um, I don't believe in aliens. I do believe in other beings. I don't want to call them aliens because, well, I don't know. I guess they could because we could be aliens to them, right? Of course. So, why not? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's go with aliens. And let's talk about twinks posting pictures on bear sites. You know what? <sighs> Let me set my camera down. How you doing? I'm in shorts. I'm not in underwear. I'm in shorts. <clears throat> hmm. I need to collect my thoughts on this one. Because, um... I ha had a debate the other night in a bear room. And it wasn't really a debate. It was a very good conversation. And this is kind of like what we talked about, about the bear community and about the way it kind of went. And uh, I kind of agreed with the guy that was saying this because a little non-bear dude was posting pictures. And again, I made a video today about it, you know, the one and two, one and two type thing. And it was of these muscle guys, no, no hair on them, so that does not make them a bear or a cup or anything. They're just muscle guys, period. What you're good to look at. And, um, anyhow, we started making comments about it. And so we started talking about the bear community. So, and this is my thought on Twinks posting pictures in a bear site. To me, if you are on a bear site, don't be posting pictures of porn stars because we can watch a porn and see them. How you doing? How you doing? And I done made my beef about the porn industry. Don't put fucking music in the porn. I want to hear their mouth. I want to hear their noises. I don't want to hear do 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 do. I don't want to hear that shit. I want to hear, oh yeah, motherfucker, give it to me. Oh yeah, I want it. That's what I want to hear. No more, no less, no more. You know what I'm saying? 
So, get with the program. Um, so, <laughs> that's my intake on that, or my output. And, um, <sighs> what else do we want to talk about? <laughs> I don't know. Um, you know, I, I was kind of thinking, do I want to do a video today? Another one? Do I not want to do another one? Do I have to do another one? Looks like I got titties. How you doing? My breastesis. No. <laughs> Uh, I feel pretty good. Actually, I was feeling sick a little bit ago, and now I feel a little bit better. So, hey, how you doing? Hey, Dewey. Oh, um, um, I got to give a shout out to a uh, Chuck Wagon Cowboy. I need to talk about him for a little bit. He does have a his new series is coming out in January, so that is really good news. So I will get to talk about him some. Um, so that is really great news that. My big bro is uh, finally coming out with his second series. I'm really happy for him um, with his cooking show. For you guys that have not checked it out, y'all should. It's really excellent. Um, and so, But, of course, I'm still going to talk about Dewey 70. Um, I cannot get enough of his stuff. He put out a card today. Uh, he's just hilarious. Um, I asked him how old he was, and he said, well, 32. Well, anyhow, he put out a card. And in the card, it's posted on my, on my on my Facebook page. Anyhow, I'm not going to go into it. But anyhow, it was saying, you know, how old he was. And he said 32. And in the background, you heard, I guess it was his sister. And she was laughing and laughing and laughing. But anyhow, he puts, like, this birthday card up to his face. I guess he was doing this to her. <laughs> okay, so, Dewey, I don't care who else wants to know, but I want to know. I want to know. I'm not the National Enquirer. I'm not writing an intern paper. I'm asking as a really good friend, you know, a friend to a friend, how old are you? You can send it to me in a private message. It's between you and I, not with me, you, and the world. And if you're 32, I will accept it. If you're 22, I will accept it. If you're 42, I will accept it. So, whatever it is, I'll take it face value. Anyhow, the rest of you guys, I hope you had a wonderful Sunday. Oh, Saturday. God, looks like Sunday. Ooh, Virginia got beat. I'm happy for them. Fuckers. Maybe next season you'll play better. Virginia Tech, I hope you get a shitty bowl. You deserve it. Fuckers. Um, anything else? No. <laughs> so, um... Anyhow, nothing else to talk about. Hmm. hmm. No. Anyhow, guys. Love you all. Big hugs. Talk to you soon. Mm. Mm. Bye. Mm. Woof. Okay. That's enough. Bye. Alright, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Bye. Mm.